Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of a Dingin Tech Show. I'm your host, Kent Reese. Let you know, I got a special guest right here. His name is Joseph, and we're going to talk about Virginia Tech and the recruiting. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, I'm Joseph. I'm actually in the recruitment stage right now for Farm Golf, which is pretty cool. Uh, recruitment's kind of it, it's a it's a weird thing because when you go through it, it's different. You know, you want to you want to go to a school you want to go to, but like some schools you want to go to, you can't. And, uh, you know, there's been a lot of recruitment going on during this uh, quarantine, hasn't Kent? Yeah, it has. It's, it, my point of view is kind of maybe it's kind of easy, a little hard on them because this quarantine they ain't doing very much businesses, b- businessing and all that. And it's yeah. Kinda, You know, uh, I mean, really, it's it's really hard on them because they don't know if they're going to even play next season, for one thing. Uh, and and really, they can't, like, it's hard to practice. It's hard to have camps and stuff, you know, for recruitment because of the virus or whatever. And, uh, yeah, it's definitely hard on them. And uh, so uh, – yeah, so what we're going to talk about recruitment, kind of, like Virginia Tech, like, uh, what is, what is something you want to get talking about with them? So here's the deal. How does um a player, um I do know, a player from Virginia, say if he's like a four- or five-star recruit, might go elsewhere? Mm-hmm. Like, tell me that the reason why he might go elsewhere. I, well... I mean, I mean, what do you think? What do you think, Ken? I think the uh, re- reason is is because of the coach and because of the and because of relationship relationship with the coach and mm-hmm. and will go to the other school like Alabama because he likes like he likes that coach. He got that relationship with that coach, and also yeah. see that coach makes sense to the NFL better. Yeah, true, 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 and. It had it also it does with friends too, you know, like let's say your friend is also being recruited by this school and oh you want to go play for that, that school too and they they get up going out of state somewhere else. I mean a lot of it really depends on their record last year. You know, like let's say, you know, tech tech had a, a good a, a you know, pretty good record last year. They didn't do the best, but they had a, a pretty good record. And that that might that it could hurt them, you know, in recruiting, or it could help them a little bit, like some of these other other players. You know, recruitment is definitely important though, and it's definitely important to have a good record when you're trying to recruit, you know, high prospect players. You know. Yeah, and it's not a good record. First of all, the coach will get like two or three strikes, and he's out. And if the yeah. athlete. Director has a good coach the father of the best work in the past he might end up committing to that school yeah that's that's true yeah and uh i don't know it's definitely hard on them now because coaches they can't they can't go out to houses and see the players really now right. uh they more has to have to do this you know call call them talk to them you know face to face they can't really go out and see kind of how they do they have to look at old footage and stuff but it's definitely hard on hard on the athlete you know the athletes to get recruited and stuff and uh you know a lot there is a lot of good athletes that don't even go to like virginia schools and it kind of sucks like i wish i wish we could i wish tech would pick up some some virginia recruit because because there's a lot of good players you know yeah true you know technique tech recently has been recruiting the state of texas recently Really? Yeah, and we got a kid from Texas named Demarius Davis, and then he decommit. But we still got our good kid, and that is a disappointment. I'll probably get to that later. And the reason Tech was coming in Texas is because Justin Flinte coached in Texas. Yeah. See, yeah, I was saying, it, it, it's a lot to do with coaching, I think. Yeah. You know, I mean, May you know, and there's a lot of good. I know why Tech probably recruits in Texas because there is a lot of good players 
a lot of good, fo- especially football players in Texas. Yeah, because mm-hmm. they're the big state, and yeah. some kids ain't good enough for Texas schools anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It might be like a low four star recruit, but still, it might go somewhere else over there. Yeah, that's true. Very true. Um, yeah. and go ahead. I'm trying to think anything else about why they wouldn't. Oh, about decommitting from a yeah a college. Yeah, Demarius Davis commit oh, commit to early in April, and then he decommit May. And they're probably the reason is a disappointment anyway. The formal foster all group probably decommit. Probably probably has to do he feel feels that he commit earlier or it might has to do with some of his friends. True, true. Uh, it's definitely when when a player decommits, they either committed too fast and was like, uh, and they changed their mind. They want to go here. Maybe they're not. They they wasn't going to get a lot of playing time at this bigger school. And so they decommit and go to another school to have more playing time. That's normally a, a big thing uh, about decommitting, you know. And uh, really, t- I, I don't really see why some people decommit. Like, I understand you going and getting more playing time, but – to me, you get seen more if you go to a bigger school, and, and and then you end up getting playing time maybe in your in your career. But I don't know. I mean, what do you think? Like, why why do you think you would? Why why do you think that a player would decommit to get more playing time instead right. of getting more like seen by other people at a bigger school? Well, they can also decommit. They can also commit elsewhere. Part of it, the the seeing that other coach too, like they're not really mm-hmm. signed, and they can't sign to like late December into or February. Yeah, and and he might be entering in Auburn instead of Tech too. Mm-hmm. Oh, I I've been wanting to ask you this, Kent. Uh, this is a question. And I don't I don't know much about your opinion, but we're gonna switch to the basketball like transfer. Yes. Because uh, you have to wait you have to wait a year to transfer, and I I have never understood this. I don't understand why why you have to wait a year to train like you can't play that year you transferred or whatever. Well, I don't like that. I mean, what do you feel? Oh, it's the same for football. The reason you guys sit out a year is because you hasn't you hasn't graduated. If you graduate. Uh, if you graduated, say example, if you're a redshirt junior and you got all your credits in, and if you graduate, you can play the next. You can play right away. Yeah. But some. Yeah. See. Hey, go ahead. I don't know. Uh, like, I don't see like UVA had had this player on his basketball team, and they got him from uh, I think Mark Hugh. I can't remember his name. I think it's Sam hustler or whatever and he had to sit out this last basketball season and but did you see where the michigan coach or whatever he was he like he tried to appeal it because he wanted that player that he got transferred did you see that no i hadn't seen it and so yeah they appeal it meaning that they're saying they don't they don't want you to come back is that right yeah yeah that's what it was yeah, yeah lot, like a, a lot do this transfer portal a lot of kids is get opportunity to transfer, but it's either they sit out a year or they get a waiver from the NC the NCAA AA. Mm-hmm. Is there a transfer in? Yeah, yeah. The transfer. I mean, I don't. I don't necessarily like how. Like, I wish you could just go back. Like, if you transfer, I wish you can just go straight to playing after you transfer, instead of having like to wait. But and maybe it it might be something that NCA wants to. The reason they do it. Is to you know, so they won't dominate. I don't. I don't really don't. I don't really understand why NCAA does it, but they do. And uh, got anything else you want to talk about recruitment? Let's see. Yeah. Um. You got anything to add? Um, I can talk about a little bit, kind of how I'm being recruited right now. 
Yeah, I was talking about Farnham. How how you got an offer from from Farnham? Well, I made a at pretty much what you do when you're being looked at. You make like a NCAA account or whatever. And that's what I did. And uh, the I my mom contact contacted the the head coach, and you know he was just starting his recruitment, and he contacted back. He was like. Yeah, I'll put you on my recruitment list because he hasn't, you know, hasn't put anybody yet. And so I'm on his list right now. And pretty much what you have to do, you have to set up an account. Uh, I had to do, uh, I had, I'm actually, I had to talk to him a little while about, you know, I've talked to the coach, but, uh, and I haven't got any more offers yet, uh, but hopefully I will because I'm, I'm not full on committed to Farm yet, but. I'm hoping to get some more offers, and I really like the coach there. That's probably yeah. if I do go, if I do go, I like the coach. The coach is great. Uh, Farham's got a pretty good golf team. If you get an offer from like a a bigger school, would you might change your mind? See, I, I was thinking about that because I really to play golf. I really want to go to to. Uh, uh, I wouldn't mind going to a D one. And I probably would change my mind, but at the same time, I'm kind of I'm in the boat where most athletics af, athletes are, and they're like, okay, let's you pick playing time, or you pick getting seen by someone, right? And so I'm in kind of that middle where I, I want playing time. You know, if I go to Farm, I know I'm going to get playing time, but if I go you know, to a bigger college, I might not get as much. And so I'm kind of in between that that line where I'm like. It it is kind of tough. It, yeah. Back to transferring, you know, when kids transfer, they they they, they can't you know they can't accept being getting replaced or being a backup. So that's why kids transfer. Yeah, that that's a that's a big transfer thing. Like most most kids that are um on these bigger D one schools. They're like third string. They're like, man, I'm never or fourth. A lot there's a lot of fourth string players. They're like, man, I'm never gonna play. And so yeah. then they just transfer. And no, and no, and no. They're a four star recruit. They they thought they thought they were gonna be a starter. Yeah, definitely. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, coaches change and they change their minds. You know about starting. Yeah. yeah. We had a like Virginia Tech couple of guys. Like Tech had a kid named. Kerry Blackshear and good, mm-hmm. but he was a senior anyway. He was on graduating. And the kid had Tech Hank Kerry Blackshear. And I was hoping he was going to stay, but he did not transfer into Florida. But I, I still like him. He played first four years, then he got yeah, hurt. Yeah, yeah, he he was good. He was a good player. Yeah, he, Kerry Blackshear was very really good. And we had a, a guy named Chris Clark. Um, a guy named Chris Clark. Uh, apparently, he got in some trouble, and then he ended up transferring. To Texas Tech, yeah. You hear about him? Yeah, I, I heard about him. Yeah, see, I'm, that's what I'm saying. It's just like it's different circumstances, and you know, it's it's hard decisions to make when you're transferring and stuff because you, know, you don't know about your opinion. And not opinion, opinion. If Justin Robinson from Virginia Tech hasn't got, is it possibility Tech could play Virginia National Championship or go to the Elite Eight? I see. I don't know. I I think you talking about last year, right? Yeah, last year. The tournament last year. Yeah, tournament. You know, yeah, I think yeah. Virginia Tech had a team. Had at least. I, I think Virginia Tech had a team. You know, UVA had a really good team. I mean, Tony Bennett. He's a great coach. I yeah. mean, has nothing to say about. I mean, he is just a great basketball coach, and he's probably gonna be with Virginia for a long time, but. I think Tech Tech had a really a really good team, and you know Blackshear was very good. Like he was a really good player, and I I think if things went, you know, a, a couple things changed, you know, with some of the some of the plays they made, uh, I, it could have been UVA and Virginia Tech in the national championship. Definitely, I could have seen it. You could have seen that, you know, yeah, I definitely could have seen because Tech had ha, Tech had a good team. Yeah, they, until and yeah. and how, I mean, how do you feel about the coach leaving? 
Well, it's a disappointment, but I do I do understand why because Buzz Williams is from Texas. Yeah. And it, it, it life happens and you just gotta move on. But I do like Mike Young. And yeah. Game. And he did very, and he, he, you know, he, he grew up in R- Rafford. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, he grew up from Rafford. And he had very good assistant coaches, as in helping recruiting and recruiting. And they also got a good transfer, like Kenny Chancellor. I can't pronounce it down. The dude from Kansas State, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah. And some yeah. Good assistants in this. And we got two good recruits coming in next year. Yeah. See, how do how do you feel about tech football next year? I think it's gonna be pretty good. We do the part of the um um the commitment. We still got good quarterbacks um next year. We got it's gonna be a battle. We got Han Hooker, uh-huh. Crenzy Patterson. He's Crenzy Patterson. He can he can run the football he can throw but he can still he still got a lot to learn and I think and we got the and we got the um the Oregon transfer yeah true yeah it might be a pretty good team we still got um Trey Turner the wide receiver yeah I don't I mean did you see where the uh, the prediction for like number one in the yeah, coastal yeah. What's your opinion on the ACC Coastal Division? Virginia Tech projected to be first, projected to win, and North Carolina is second, UBA's last place, and find yeah. out Miami. You know, uh, I really. It. Yeah, I, I, you know, I don't know why they put UVA last. You know, I think they're not last. Like, they have a good team. But. Carolina second, I see that because they did play. I mean, they almost beat Clemson last season, you know. I yeah. Mean, they got really close to beating Clemson. Uh, really, the coach made a bad decision on that. He should have, instead of going for two, he should have kicked the field goal and took it to overtime. They yeah. probably would have won. Uh, yeah, you do not want to underestimate Clemson. I'm sorry. Yeah. You kick a field Just goal. Just take it overtime. Kick, set the field goal, go to overtime, or set the loss. Yeah, that's what I would have did. I wouldn't have. Went for two, but yeah, I think Carolina's definitely up there to to win the coastal. I think. I mean, they just have the they have the team. The team's there. They're not losing many players, and they're getting you no. Know, they're getting a good recruiting ever since that coach came there. Yeah, but I'll uh, be, be honest with you. I hope I don't. It doesn't happen because I just don't like North Carolina. Yeah, I don't either. Carolina, I just I've never liked them. Yeah, Even they, basketball, I don't like them. They're, basketball they're either. Candles. But, yeah, uh, I don't know. I I think it it's pretty accurate. Besides UVA being last, I don't think UVA should be last. Really, Miami, Miami should be last. I mean, my yeah. I hate to admit, they, and my battery's on ten percent. I don't get my charger. Alrighty. Yeah, I I mean, I just I, Miami last season didn't didn't perform as well as I thought. Yeah, yeah. I thought I thought Miami was going, you know, at least. Oh. Normally Miami's good in football, you know. Yeah, to be honest with you, Miami and, and Miami also lost a touch in basketball too. Yeah, they they used to be really good in basketball, and I yeah. I don't know. I, I think they, what happened? Oh, lost recruiting or something like that. Yeah, I think they lost a lot of their coaches, and so. When you lose coaches, you lose recruiting too. Yeah, it's just and so, and that and that goes, but that goes back to recruiting. You lose players. When yeah. That happens. See, you can use Frank Beamer for his example. And when he was at Murphy State, it was the bad. When Frank Beamer was at Murphy State, he had bad records. That time, Virginia Tech fans did not like him. Yeah. And and and. 1987-1993, Frank Beamer was almost fired and, yeah. and until he hired a good assistant coaches. And we got good players like Antonio Freeman and Colonel Brown. Yeah. And matter of fact, Frank Beamer was almost fired twice 
it was 1995, and Tech went was 0-2, and yeah. boom, went, they went 10 wins and won, won the Circle Bowl. Yeah. How do, well, how do you feel about the new football coach for Tech? Justin Falente, I, I like him. He's yeah, a couple couple of years, years. And yeah. his first, and his first year they went ten four, but the reason went ten four because they still had the good players around them, mm-hmm. and recruited a quarterback named Gerard Evans. He played. He scored thirty eight touchdowns. Yeah, in college. I think we'll really see kind of what he does once he starts getting his recruits in. Because yeah. he kind of that first that first year he had you know it wasn't his recruits you know yeah yeah Isaiah Ford Cam Phillips and Bucky Hodges yeah but uh yeah I think I think give him a couple years he'll probably see kind of what if he now if if he doesn't improve then they're probably gonna get rid of him yeah. but yeah. but if he gets good recruits and re- improves you know he'd probably be okay but uh yeah. Recruitment is definitely hard now. Yeah. Because all this. Another thing of decommitting. What's your opinion about fans on Twitter when they see their favorite player decommitted? Are you talking about like their reactions or whatever? Yeah, right. Like react. Like, oh, I mean, some fans get kind of mad. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like, you know, they, I mean, they they're going there and just rant about it on Twitter. And yeah. I, I mean, don't. I don't think they – don't do that. I mean, yeah. okay, it was – you know, it's their decision. Maybe they saw something you didn't – they didn't like, and you know. That's what yeah. – that, see, that makes it hard for – that makes it hard for athletes too when that happens, you know. Yeah, yeah when, it, when fans – when a lot of Virginia Tech fans are toxic, and some of our, and some Tennessee fans also is also toxic too. Yeah. They, I mean, I feel like every fan base has those toxic fans, so you know. Yeah, God, it's like when the kid decommit, that's caused the kid for not um recommitting. Yeah. See, so, yeah, I mean, I just don't, I just don't think you should do that to a player. I mean, because so, some of these players are very, very, you know, popular with the their fan, like they have fans like already. Yeah. Because they're good, they're good, you know, those great in high school. You know, football, whatever, baseball, whatever they're playing. Yeah. And uh, what do you think about Virginia Tech baseball? I haven't really kept up with uh, any yeah. Virginia baseball sports, but I know UVA was doing good before the, they ended the season, but I didn't know anything about Tech because oh, well, I haven't Virginia, really kept up with it. If you know, um, you know Mackenzie, you know Mackenzie Lauder, right? Yeah. The daughter of Coach Lauder. Well, she's playing for Virginia Tech softball, and she did oh, oh, really? very well last year. Her and our team lead the twenty uh-huh. lead the twenty seven wins last year. Yeah, and uh, the the thing about it is, when the new coach got there for the softball team, um, the the girls is already good. It is when they coached that well. Yeah, first season and Virginia Tech baseball, it it's going to take coach chicks came from. Maryland, and he had NCAA records, records, and he's going to take him a year or two to change it. Mm-hmm. Tell you one thing, Vic Whitcock, our athletic director, has done a very good job hiring coaches. Yeah, yeah. See, I, I've been keeping up with Andrew Abbott. You know, he plays for UVA baseball. I kind of keep up with him. He's he had that. Uh, he's been really good pitching. I, you know, he's definitely a contender for major league. You know. Yeah. Uh, he he he's very like they I think they put him more in the he's kind of a mid to closer is what I saw like he he would close some games but uh, yeah he's definitely in can you know he's one of the he's one he's a great athlete hands think, down great baseball player you think you think he could have redshirted it uh, he probably could have I I think he. I kind of wish he was because he would be even, even better, I think. Yeah. See, I mean, you go out. He's good now, but. If you play full time in high school, don't expect to play full time in college. Yeah. And, you know, you know, he was drafted by the Yankees. Yeah, he was. Before. And I, I'm, I'm glad he went to college for it. But, but just because sometimes when you go straight to, you know, pros, it's kind of different and you don't get that experience playing. Yeah. 
right. especially if you go from like high school. Like it's just like Jeremy Jeffries, you know, he went he went straight to pros, and but he's good, but like he yeah, kind of he, he was pretty darn good though. Yeah, he was. He was he was really good. Like I I mean I watched him. He when he was playing in the uh, you know the World Series, I was watching him. And he was pitching really, very well during that time. You know, that's high pressure moments. But uh, yeah, I think I think you get more experience if you just go to college instead of going yeah. to pros. Yeah, I'm, yeah. You know, for Virginia Tech baseball in 2013 was my senior year. We had a guy named Pete Hughes, mm-hmm. and he left. And part of it, he left because the baseball stadium wasn't that good. In 2013, that's the only year that Tech had a good season, and Tech won the um. Went to the ACC championship that year, and then yeah, and went a couple of years. When I when I, I was, when I was at Tech Tech game versus UVA, Tech uh-huh. crushed UVA ten to one that year. Really? Yeah. Wait, isn't that before? Um. Uh, that was before that coach that came to UVA. I can't remember his name. Uh. Hmm. Can't I cannot I cannot remember his name, but he's coaching now. Like he's a very good coach over there, and I think that's the reason why UVA has kind of stepped up in baseball. But uh, I'm trying to remember what I was going to tell you. The dog's barking, man. I'm sorry. You good? Yeah. You got anything else you want to want to talk about? How long have we been doing this? Uh, it's reaching 26 minutes right now, or 27 minutes. I want to at least try try to go. You want to go to th- an hour? Yeah, I want to try to go an hour. All right. I think, uh, um, oh, I think I know. I think I remember what I was going to tell you. Uh, what do you feel about the, like the, in football especially, because it's kind of weird. But what do you feel about just having uh, four teams playing for a national championship? You think it should be more? You think it should be more like eight? That that is um, uh, it's possibility. Yes, it could be. That would definitely do some changes, changes to it. Kind of like, kind well, I kind of like the college football playoffs community because these people was like better than the BCS era. Mm-hmm. The VCS era was two teams, was two teams, and they wouldn't have not very much. Basically, if you're undefeated, you can definitely go to the national championship. It's like that. And the other team probably get blown out where the other team deserved to go and the other team deserved to Well, look, I go college for a playoffs era that you must mm-hmm. have a strength of schedule to go yeah. to. See, so, yeah, that's what I, you know, I'm still trying to, I still. I'm still confused, very confused about how they rank teams in college. Like, I mean, it go, I know that goes by your strengths of schedule, kind of who you play, if you beat a ranked team certain time, blah, blah, blah. But I just think it's kind of confusing to me. I, I just wish there were – I kind of wish there were eight teams in a playoff because it would kind of it would kind of balance things out instead of just having one dominant team because you could lose any given game, you know. Right. Instead of playing, instead of playing just two games for the playoff, play three, and then you, you know, it really shows who's good, you know. But yeah, that, I don't know. That's kind of how I feel. I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of might be the same. It's kind of a difficult. Yeah. Side. Yeah, it definitely is. Um. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, what do you feel? What do you think about the uh, the basketball though? Because like basketball has like a whole lot of teams. Like I feel like they should cut down on that. I mean, well, back to football. Back in the day, football was all Division One, and then like I think I don't know was the early nineties. I had to ask my dad when they switched it to Division One A and Division One mm-hmm. B, FBS and FCS. Yeah. And because football needs to be short anyway, 
And that's really kicked off the new era, the BCS era and the college football playoffs era. Oh, for, and basketball, basketball for the small Division One teams, they've got the opportunity to go to the NIT tournament unless they win their um, conference title game. Then they can go to the NCAA tournament. Yeah. Basketball is so different and longer. Yeah. I just don't know what to say. I could say could I, just – I mean, they could. I, I feel like – they could cut down on some teams in March Madness, but I mean, I mean that's just my my thing on it. I mean, I just think sometimes, sometimes it's too many teams, and that that's the reason why, like you know, UVA lost to UNBC, you know, games like that. Like, I mean, I don't really think. I mean, UNBC. I mean, what do you think? Do you think they deserve to be in a tournament for a national? Ch- like, I don't know. I mean, if you know, if I was a small school, I think I would. But you know, I, I don't really know how I feel about feel about that. I mean, it's kind of you know in the middle. And say tournament. Well, to be let you know, I was kind of happy about that. <laughs> yeah. Because a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people were first number one team to lose to a, a poor team, and you yeah. know, uh, I am a Virginia Tech fan, but yeah. I guess it might be unfair for small teams, however, but that, that could an upset could happen. Yeah, true, true. And I uh, kind of like the upsets. I really do. You know? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of cool seeing like a low, you know, low team out of nowhere making it to like the elite eight or something. You know, playing yeah. against like some great teams. Yeah, that's kind of fun to watch an upset. But it ain't fun if it's like your team. Your t- yeah, that's that is so true, so true. Yeah, if it's your team, then it's not it's not fun. But I th- I think it, it is cool to see though some of these you know low schools. It's not really a big school, you know, not a lot of people. Kind of a private school they do to do, you know. Some you know go go win, go go beat a great great team in the tournament. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just – I want sports to kick back on, you know. Yeah, I hope I'm ready so. to watch. Hopefully po- all this can – It's possibility that we might see it this fall. Thank you. Yeah. But be honest with you, for Virginia Tech football and the rest of the football, things might be a little bit different because since spring practice and spring games was – you know, spring games and spring practice was canceled and things yeah. might be different. Yeah. So what's your opinion about how things might be a little bit different this year? I, I mean, if that's what we have to do this year, I, I'm I'm fine with it. I mean, it's still giving it will still give us sports. But I, did, I think about the fan like you got to have fans in like, let's say, you know, if they're if they're going to play a season, like, let's say if the MLB kicks back off and they, they're playing and you got to have fans. I mean, that's how they make money. That's how the park make money. And even college sports, you still have to, you know, why would you have a a full season, no fans? So, yeah. I mean, that makes the sports, you know. I, I don't I don't know. I just hope, hopefully everything can get back to the way it was and they start the sports on time, like like the, uh, the fall sports, winter yeah. sports. I'm the same. Because I miss it. Yeah, me too. I'm just going to wait and see. Yeah, definitely. Well, back to recruiting. I just want to talk about when I went on the Twitter. Actually, I don't got Twitter, but I, you can still go on the Twitter on Google. When I check yeah. out Demarius Davis' friend, Neville, when I saw his Twitter, I believe that that he's still committed to Virginia Tech. Virginia mm. Things could I could be wrong, but when I saw his um, message, he still might be loyal to Virginia Tech because some kids might not go to other schools because of friends. Friends, yeah. Like school in my state, loyal to that school. So what you what's your opinion about that? You know me, I like. See, that's why I'm kind of staying in state, is what. I, so if I do get a, a offer out of state, I'm probably not gonna go. I probably more or less any school that's in state, I'll either that or Carolina. But a lot, a lot of kids like to stay loyal to their state because you know they grew up watching these teams, and so they want to play for them, you know. And my thing, I'm gonna, 
I'm probably gonna stay loyal to my state. So any any college in my state, that's probably what I'm gonna gonna commit to if I get an offer. So, uh, but yeah, a lot, lot of lot of kids. That's that's one thing. That's some some people. They they they're loyal to the state, so they're only gonna go to a college in that state. You know. And, and it might not follow their friends. Yeah, true. To to the school. And you gotta think about it, like not all. Not all of them get scholarships to to you know go out of state because out of state costs for colleges, you right. know, pretty high. It's pretty you know it's a pretty penny. It's not cheap to go out of state. So you have to get a scholarship if you're gonna go out of state. That's the only way. Right. I mean, I mean there's there's been some there's been some walk-ons though, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a bunch of walk-ons. It's proven, hey, don't don't judge a, a walk-on, man. Walk-ons can prove to be yeah. good. Like, walk-ons can. Like in 2013, we had a kid named Sam Rogers. He almost did everything. He did like he throw the football, and mm-hmm. Sam Rogers. You know who Sam Rogers is, right? Yeah, Virginia. yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was like he was like, he was a fan favorite, and he throw the Sam Rogers throw the football and he catch the football. He run the football. Uh, that dude was freaking tough. Yeah, I mean, I mean, walk-ons are very, very good. And they, you know, they kind of, they end up getting. Normally, if you're a walk-on, they sometimes they end up giving you a scholarship after yeah. you walk on. You know, like a lot, a lot of, a lot of teams do that, and which is good. You know, because they, they deserve it. If they, if they earn it, they deserve it. You know. Yeah, and here's another thing. Some fans, including myself, also make a mistake of judging the book by a cover. Like for yeah, the basketball true. team, basketball team, I did not know who it is. Well, cause we had two kids. Was one kid was was committed to Wofford, and he followed Mike Mike Young to Virginia Tech named Hunter Couture. Mm-hmm. And Hunter Couture, I figured this kid would not be a, a good. He, I can't believe he's a starter. But when I see him play, he turned out to be that good. And Mike Young said, "Dude, you could play anywhere." Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like a lot, a lot of a lot of athletes get looked over, and it sucks that they do, because there's a lot of good athletes out there. Like, like take take Tom Brady for example. I mean, he wasn't, he got looked over. Right. And look where he was at. You know. Yeah. He got I'm saying a lot of athletes. And same way of being in draft, if you're a sixth or seventh round or a fifth round, they meant they ain't expecting you to be a starter, but they prove it to be that way. Yeah, they prove out to be a starter. Like but, you work for your job the whole time you're there. Yeah. yeah. Like like Cam Chancellor, you know who Cam Chancellor is, right? Yeah. He got overlooked, got drafted in the fifth round. And when, yeah, I mean. When when Cam Chancellor was recruited by Virginia Tech, he played quarterback and like linebacker, and Virginia Tech turned to a safe, turned him to a safety, and he went in on mm-hmm. hitting people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. A lot, a lot of athletes get looked over, you know, but it's not it's not just because they're not good. It's more or less because they just sometimes they don't see some coaches don't see the potential, and then other coaches see the potential and they get them normally. But yeah. a lot, yeah, a lot of play, a lot of players look get looked over. And tech, had, and tech basketball had a kid named Tyreek Rafferty, redshirted. And tech, he was walk on Virginia Tech, or barely walk on to Virginia Tech, and he turned out to be darn darn good for Virginia Tech this year. And yeah. he's a reason why we win 16 wins. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. I just, I think recruitment's recruitment, getting recruited is is fun. But it's stressful at the same time because you don't know where to go. Yeah. And you're hoping you can get a scholarship. Like right now, I'm still kind of confused. Like I'm like, mm, I really want to go. I really want to go to Farum, but like at the same time, like what if I get another recruit? You know, someone else that wants to recruit me, then I have a decision to make. But it, it's all it's fun though. I have fun with it. Yeah. And uh, it's it's, it's it has to be rewarding when you, you know. You you get it. You pick the college you want. And you go there to play. It's got to be right. fun. Yeah. But uh, yeah. On to the the state law. Lo- yeah, I'm I'm definitely loyal to the state. I don't want to go out of state to a college and play if I if I, I want to stay in state, play in Virginia. You know. Right. 
But uh, really, I'm hoping for my recruitment, I want to get a D2 college. I don't. I really don't want a D1 because I feel like I'm not going to get playing time. But a D2, if I, I'll take a D2 college, really. That's you know, Farum's D3. Farum's D3, which I looked at some of their stats. You know, they they have some good players, but I really want to go to D2 if I if I can. Oh, but uh, but yeah, recruitment's pretty. It's hard right now because I can't go to camp. Like I I want to go to camps and stuff, but I can't. And I want to play in tournaments, but I can't because of the virus or whatever. But it's supposed to be ending soon, so hopefully I can go to some camps and stuff. Yeah, here's another thing. What if what what some governor? I don't want to bring politics in it, but the governor comment said about high school, but kids go a specific time this year. You know about that? Yeah, I heard about that. And I, you see, I don't, I don't understand that. I just just open. I I don't like bring politics either, but. I just think it's open. Just open back up if you're going to open, you know. Yeah, and here's another deal. What, it, what, what, what if for in the United States, 2020 football is canceled? How can that – that's going to be tough. I mean, how are you going to do it, though? Because you're only going to give those kids three years to play. Right. You're, like, they're not getting their full thing. They, they, they're going to be that, – that's going to be like – like, how they're going to get physical play college if they don't play their fourth year? Like, it's, yeah. already, it's already happened for the spring sports. It's already. I was saying, they took their, their, they took their year away, and I, I don't. They, they won't. They, it's like they, didn't, they, they couldn't finish the season. I wish they would have waited and finished the season, is what they should have. Well, you know, well, instead of just canceling the whole thing. Well, technically, you could go back high school and finish your season if you want to. Yeah, true. You know that. So my back to base with baseball. How good Christian really? You would think he would do since he like um. Oh yeah, it. he was going to tech, wasn't he? Yeah, he's going to tech. Christian really is going to tech for baseball. Yeah, he Christian Christian's a great baseball player. Uh, I I played against him in rec league like a couple times when I was younger, and you know I played baseball for a while. But uh, yeah, Christian, he's he's a good baseball player. He's definitely he's definitely something that I think Tech needs for baseball. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Christian's definitely a good baseball player. Yeah. Hands yeah. down. But how and, how 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 do you think he might get affected since he didn't miss his senior season? I see. That's what I'm saying. Like and he's been hurt a couple of times. Yeah, it could affect him because he still didn't get to play. Like, because I mean. Playing time is good. Any like you need playing time, and so I I don't know if it it could affect him, you know his ability to to play for Tech, but I, I don't know if it it really is gonna it it might affect him, but it might not, you know. It but it's work. definitely gonna it's definitely gonna affect him if they don't play this you know this next spring, which I hope they they should, but yeah. if they don't, you know, you never know. Yeah, they might not play. He probably might. He probably might have to red shirt. Yeah. Red well, shirt. I, you know, they they should just they should they should give all these seniors one more year to play. Yeah, they sh- yeah they they should. And they then probably- I mean, it, it I don't think it, it wouldn't affect you know other players. I don't think it might though because like they're gonna be seniors too and they might not get a lot of playing time then if they're there, but. I don't know. It, it's such guess, a hard thing to talk I guess, about. I guess you don't don't force them like give them the choice that they want to come back. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, give them a choice. I think a choice would be better. Yeah, because we had a um, because we had a dude named Nearest Nobly. You hear, you hear about not Nearest Nobly. Shoot, what's the kid's name? Have you seen him play for Tech? He's like five ten. You remember his mm-hmm. name? Uh. Well, Mm, I'm trying to mirror his name too. I know you're talking about that. Yeah, he yeah he's played. like 5'10. He was kind of a short guy. I mean, he yeah, was short, but, but, but he know. was a four star recruit. Yeah. Recruit. I had to say this. Hey, guys, if you remember his name, the best basketball player is 5'10. Please type in the comments. Yeah, because I, can, I can't remember his name at all. <laughs> I don't remember. 
Uh, but yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about. Though. Yeah. He, he can freaking run across and get over and make a three. That, that's impressive for a 5'10 basketball player. Yeah, really. Because, I mean, being short in basketball is hard because even though there's a lot of good short basketball players like Isaiah Thomas, I mean, he went on to – he's pretty, I mean, a legend to me. I mean, he played for the Celtics. He played for a bunch of teams, and he's good, you know. But, you, I mean, you just got to be able to work with it. You're short – if you're short one, in basketball. Uh, one time Dale not, – not Dale Curry. The, Dale – uh, Steph Curry, the son of Dale Curry, he played Virginia Tech back in the 80s. He was mm-hmm. real short, got no offers. Yeah. Well, Tech's him a walk on scholarship, but he feels he want not going to play. But he paid Davidson. Look how he is. He got bigger. Yeah. And stronger. Yeah. It's just, you know, it's just some people hit their, their growth spurt later. Yeah. I mean, that's the only what it is. But, uh, yeah. Being short is kind of, you can work with it in basketball. You don't have to be tall. I don't think, but uh, yeah. Going back to recruitment, it it's definitely definitely hard for the athletes now. Right. But I because it's ne- it's never been nothing like this in sports history. I don't think. I mean, I don't because I mean we haven't had something like this since 1920, and that was sports back then was kind of different than what's today. But uh, yeah, I mean, look at the sports center. Just don't know what to talk about now. <laughs> it's no. no sports. It's crazy. Right. But, yeah, recruitment is yeah. pretty, pretty, pretty fun. Yeah. Um. So how much how much time are we going by? Uh, we're at 46 minutes right now. Okay. What's your um, favorite um, Virginia Tech players from the pros? Mm-hmm. You threw a hard one on me, Kent. Uh, favorite Virginia Tech player? I don't know. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of good ones. There's a lot of you know, not just Virginia Tech player, but there's a lot of Virginia players. You know, they went on the pro. You know, that came from Virginia. They went on the pros. You know, and and it's did great. Uh, I don't know. Who is yours? Hmm. It's between Michael Vick and Bruce Smith. I, mm. I can say um, Michael Vick. Smith, yeah, Michael Vick is very good, but yeah, I think Michael I think Vick is definitely one. Bruce Smith did better than Michael Vick in the pros. Yeah, Michael Vick just had that finesse to him, you know. Yeah, like, he could and, run like all over the place. And p- part of it is he also got hurt close to the end of the season. Yeah, that 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 hurt is that hurt is you know his playing time and stuff. But yeah, Michael Vick's definitely one of them. I would, that's who I would pick, Michael Vick. Yeah. For me. Uh, um, but yeah. Yeah, it kind of sucks about sports. <laughs> I just, I just wish, I wish you would go back to like it was, because I was watching sports all, all the time. That's all I do is watch sports. But uh, I really, I really wish they, you know, talking about basketball, college basketball. I really wish this season would have finished though, because I was kind of curious on how. The AC was going to play out at the end in the tournament because I really didn't know who was going to win because all the teams were kind of mediocre this year. I mean, yeah. Duke wasn't that good. They were overrated like they normally are. And uh, they, Carolina uh, weren't that good. But Duke, they always – Duke, I'm telling you one thing. Duke, Duke, Duke is done going to the national championship. I'm sorry. Duke, Duke is done. I, I think so, too. Because the I, you coach- know, the only way they would turn a national championship is if they five star recruits come back to the sophomore year. That's the only way. Yeah, that's true. But I, I think, I think Duke's done. I think their coach is gonna just, you know, I think he's just gonna. I mean, he's gonna have to retire at some point. Yeah. I don't know when he's, he's gonna, gonna do good, it. But, get good wins, but like over yeah. twenty minutes and go to it. But yeah, they're not gonna go farther into the NCAA tournament. Yeah. I, I just hate how they overhype Duke though in basketball. It just gets on my nerves, you know. Yeah. They overhype. They overhype. That's all they talk about is Duke, you know. You know. And Carolina. What do you think about Carolina? Like, I think they're. I think uh, Roy Williams done. You think? You think he's done? I think he. I think he's going to retire. And he's going to be the, done. The, the, what about what about his players? What about his team would be good next year? 
I don't know. It depends on like what his team's going to be like. I mean, well, that his, that guy that they got hurt. was. His, I don't. Know. Players was hurt though. Yeah. True. True. I don't know. I. They could have a good team. I don't know. They got to get some recruitment. Though, I think they got to get better recruits than what they got. And he needs to – that player that they got that was hurt needs to get well and be able to stay well for him to do good, you know. Well, you, but they you, did – Go ahead. They they did lose a lot of players the season before, and that yeah. hurt them. Uh, they lost some of their top players they had. But, uh, I mean, what do you think? Would you like to see – what do you think? What do you think Virginia Tech would have did basketball wise in the in the tournament, AC tournament? The ACC tournament, or the NCAA tournament. Uh, both. Let's say both, because you know they didn't get to play. Well, technically, they already lost the ACC tournament. True. But true. I could say if they had a good team, maybe average. They might win yeah. one, lose the next game. That's yeah. just me being honest. Oh, did you uh, – I forgot to ask you. Did you see – you know, what do you think about Liberty's basketball team? Because they had a great basketball team. Yeah, Liberty they, University. They, oh, yeah, Liberty. Liberty had a good basketball yeah. team. Like they, I think they was going to do something this year, for yeah. real, like in the like, tournament. Last year, when we played Liberty, we played Liberty in the very beginning. And it, as it wasn't a real game. It was an exhibition game for, like, for charity. Mm-hmm. And we yeah. – first them as usual. But when we play them – when Tech played Liberty in the Sweet 16 last year, it was pretty tough, but Tech still won by 10. But give Liberty credit. And Liberty, I believe Liberty is close to our, kind of close to our level. They're kind of close to a American Conference level. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I that school, though, you know, that school's really grown. Uh, I mean, they, they went D1 in every sport now. Um. And their what basketball com- team is really good. What conference are they in basketball? I know, I know they're not in the Big South because that's what card. Um, oh. they're in that conference with uh that Lu- uh, Louisiana team, I believe. Uh, I can't remember the name of them, but they they they've, they've been in the they've been in their conference tournament. I mean their their championship game three years in a row. I think. Right. They won it twice. They won it twice in a row. But uh, yeah, that team, that basketball team, they had a good team the year UVA won a national championship. They had that, they had a really good because they, I think this team though this year could have did something in the tournament, but they and got short. They also got football team too to win A and four and play for the ball. And I know. Won. Yeah, the question is, I wonder how loyal Hoot Freeze would be for Liberty. Yeah. What do you think? Do you, do you think Liberty's going to stay independent in uh, football, or do you think they're going to go to a conference? It, it depends how many. Um, tell you one thing, they're, they're not going to get invited to the ACC. I, here, I wish. I wish. I wish like, but they're not. It depends how good. How, how it depends on how loyal Hoot Freeze will be, and how many. How can they continue? Are they going to get 10 wins, continue the next 20, 10 years? That's the question. Yeah, that's true. And I'm going to tell you one thing. They're not going to get invited to the ACC, and here's why. Because the ACC changed the rules that they're not going to let no more other teams from the same state join. They're going to join different – they're going to buy new teams. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't understand this either. I wish Notre Dame should be in the ACC, even though they technically are in football, but they they're they're in football they're not, but like they have they still have to play a certain amount of ACC games. Yeah, they can play you know? here. Yeah, like I I think they should they should be in a conference. Like I don't they shouldn't be independent anymore. I don't, I already know why they they want to stay independent because that's what they've Cause been they, right in Cause football. In BC. Yeah. But. Yeah, I, I I wish Liberty could be AC, but I feel like they're gonna go more maybe Conference USA. You think, think. My, you think they might go? What about Conference USA? Yeah, that's the deal. They might they gotta get maybe his the and like I said, they're not gonna get invited to the ACC anyway because the ACC yeah, might fight no more of our teams in the conference like they yeah. did like they did in the past. 
Yeah, they're not going to do that. If there's a Power Five team um, conference, what do you think the Liberty could join? What do you think, do you think would they would join? Mm. Hmm. I mean, they could they could join maybe. I mean, I would like to see them in like some you know different. Maybe not close to here. Maybe. Mm. Big Twelve, maybe Big Twelve. Big um, Twelve, yeah, Big Twelve. I think I could see him in the Big Twelve. It yeah. would be tough for him though. That's the only thing. If they go to one of those, it'd be, it's gonna be tough. Like I think Conference USA would be perfect because they're gonna be playing against you know Marshall, East Carolina. Uh, yeah, I, um, not Carolina. Did they in the American Conference? I think the American Conference is the best non-five conference. Oh yeah, true, true. Um. But yeah, I think I think Conference USA would be a good one for them. Yeah, yeah. I think because all right, we have four minutes left. Four minutes. Till I, I think till hour. Yeah, four minutes till hour. Four, four minutes in an hour. So what yeah. you think about um, Rake Forest new basketball coach? You know they hired a new coach recently. Mm-hmm. If I, meaning. Yeah. What? Uh, what's his name? Can't and remember I, his name. I, um, but yeah, I, I heard about that. What you know about think, his res- what you know about his resume? I actually don't know anything about him. I haven't really looked into it. Like I saw it, you know, on Twitter or whatever. Uh, that that's who they got. But I don't I don't know much about him. I mean, do you know a lot about him? Because I really don't know much about. I think he might got a pretty good resume. Yeah, maybe I can ask people on if they. If this once this video goes to YouTube, I can ask the fans. If y'all know who's the right force to hit coach, type in the comments. Yeah, because I cannot remember at all. I can't like I can't. I don't know who kind of I I don't know where he coached at before he went to Wake Forest. Um. Yeah. Got anything else? Got anything else you want to talk about, Kent? If you got an offer from Virginia Tech, would you go? The fault fault you might not be playing time, or would you go? If I got an offer from Tech, hmm. You know, I actually before I was gonna, you know, play golf. You know, for before I decided I was gonna try to play college golf, I was gonna go to Farm. I mean, uh, Tech. That's where I wanted to go. Cause they got oh. they got a they got a great ag course program. I wanted to go there, but now if I got recruited by them, I probably would go. Cause I don't really know, I don't know exactly their golf program right I, now. I'm, you don't know how good Tech's golf. I, I don't I don't know because I don't know golf. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know how how their golf program is. Now if I if I I might look it up now since you since you asked me that I might actually look up their golf program to see how they are. And uh, but yeah. I probably would. I probably would go. I think. Okay. I. I think I would. Be, it would be. It would be good. To learn. Even though I won't. Maybe. Maybe my senior year I would get a lot of playing time. But. I think it'd just be a good experience. You know. Yeah. Because I mean I would get to play at practice. I would get to practice all the time. And I. And I could get better. You know. You never know. Or I transfer. I could always transfer. Yeah. You can always transfer. Yeah. You know. But uh. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I th- I think I would. Yeah, but I I have, I have no idea. I think if I got an offer from really Avery, I looked at Avery's golfer. I kind of want to go there too. You I, go? I'm kind of yeah. Avery's got a good golf golf program too, and I'm kind of thinking about going there and sh- and playing. But the first college I looked at, and it's a D1 college, and it's called Augusta State. University, they got a great golf program. That's kind of that's kind of where I want to go. If I had, if you know, if I got an offer, I would easily go there and play, even though it's out of state. But yeah, that that golf program, they won two national championships, and they've been three times to the national championship and only lost once. And so, I mean, if I if I could go there and get a ring, I mean, that would be cool, you know. There's one thing um tech tech needs an actual championship. Well, tech and they won their wrestlers went won an actual championship, but that's that doesn't count for the full team. 
I think his name is Micaiah Lewis. Uh-huh. That, that's yeah, I don't I don't know why I don't know why Tech hasn't got well, a national championship. Um the, twice. Uh, take me three times that I attempted that I attempted to go. If Michael Vick wasn't hurt the second year, the probably could have gone and win it in two thousand one. Yeah. In two thousand seven, yeah. and this is back from the BCS ever, the BCS ever it ain't that good. Two thousand and seven, if they beat Matt Ryan the first time, do you know Tech played against Matt Ryan? I didn't home. know that. Yeah, he, know that. Matt Ryan was supposed to be a Heisman Trophy candidate for like twenty eight mm-hmm. pounds, four thousand yards. And they paid for Boston College. Yeah. And we played against Matt Ryan in Ling Stadium, and we should have beat them, but we choke. I think we lost. We lost to him like three points. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. And and Virginia Tech went and played him in the in the ACC championship. Tech was ranked six. They was ranked eleventh. And and Tech got their revenge and beat them twenty three. Yeah. And Sean Glennon was the Tech quarterback at the time. We also had we also had Tyrod Taylor was a true freshman. It was switched back and forth. And mm-hmm. Sean Glennon was not the Heisman Trophy candidate, and we beat them. And he was. Yeah. All righty, it, it hit an hour, Kent. Uh, I mean, if you want to keep talking about stuff, I don't know what else you want to talk about. Tech was oh yeah, one other thing is Tech will beat Boston College twice. They could have gone to it. They yeah, out. true, true. They won not. They will not have won. They would probably get blown out because they got blown yeah. out by three a while back. Yeah, you got nothing else. That's all. You got nothing else to say? Oh, I did want to ask you one more thing before we get off. Uh, how was it meeting Coach Beamer, Frank Beamer? Oh, Coach Beamer was great. I when I met Coach Beamer, I met a couple of coaches by the way, and mm-hmm. one. Play- I met Coach Beamer was great. See, Halifax was making the new the new high school, and yeah. Coach Beamer was about to speak. When I got up there, it was me and Mama and my brother Will, and mm-hmm. and we got a full picture of him. It was just great. And then I got a picture by myself. It was just great meeting Frank Beamer. He's a nice guy. He's a great guy to talk to. Yeah. You got to ask some questions. That's cool. You want to know anything else? Our coaches I met? Yeah, sure. I met at a hooky club. I was met a couple of players. A hooky club. I met coach, offensive line coach, Brad Conlawson. He's a nice guy. I also mm. met at the, I also met Buzz Williams. Oh, really? Yeah, Buzz, when Buzz Williams, I'll tell you one thing. He does not like websites, like tech websites, <laughs> because yeah. like rumors. He did a good, good speech, and I got pictures of him. And for players, mm-hmm. see, I met in these people at a hockey club. Yeah. And they did one Chase City, did one Halifax. I also met Kevin Jones. You hear about mm-hmm. him? He played. Yeah, same, I heard about. Him. He played the same time as Kevin Johnson. When I met yeah. Tremaine Atmans, um. Yeah, when it was Halifax versus Dan Weber, and Halifax had a good basketball team, so did Dan Weber. Mm-hmm. When we beat, when I met Tremaine Evans, he signed my hat and asked him, Tremaine, where are you going? What position are you going to go to? You're going to play? I'm going to play outside linebacker. And I said it's cool. And he knew, he probably knows, knows, knows that I was a Halifax fan, by the way. But and after the game was over, and I shake his hand, I hope to see you at Virginia Tech. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's how I met. That's how I met my pay players and my coaches. That's great. Well, I got nothing else to say right now except well, I, was, I guess I'm going to end the video. Yeah, I ain't got nothing else. Okay, I guess yeah. I guess I'm going. Well, guys, thanks. what we say? Uh, thanks for having me, Ken. I just wanted to say that I think it's pretty cool. I was able to uh, come over here and talk to you about this stuff. We definitely need to do it again. And uh, I'm thinking about starting a podcast. Okay. So I might I might I might get you on podcast sometime. Okay, that's cool, man. I can join your podcast. All right. Well, I'm closing now. Well, everybody, thank you for jo- thank you for watching the Virginia Tech Show. Hope you like this video. Click the subscribe button. The 
the bell notification and to let's talk in the comments. Comments. And for all though, let's go Hokies and see y'all next time. Bye.